a few things to bear in mind you when you are asked to draft a pattern if the pattern has a drawing then there has to be a brief description of the drawing wherein you say figure one you explain what figure one is figure two you explain what figure two is or if the figure one figure two is not mentioned you can mention them as figure one and two and say that and you have to have a description of the parts if something is numbered as part uh, one two and three and four in the drawing you will have to understand read the disclosure that is given there will be a limited disclosure which will be given and you'll have to describe that so wherever you see a drawing there are two things that or three things that you will do one have a column or a heading or a paragraph on brief description of drawing where you describe all the figures to explain the parts the parts will be numbered but you'll have to name them what the part is and three when you have a claim cross refer whenever you a part is mentioned in the claim also followed by the number within brackets so when you have a drawing question with the drawing these are the three things that you will take care of a brief description of the drawing the fact that the the parts are explained in writing what one is what two is what three is what four is and three when those parts are mentioned in bracket you mention the corresponding number now this is when there is a drawing now in a normal case whether there is a drawing or not you will try to create if you've been asked to write claims try to draft at least five claims if the technology allows you to draft a product claim and a process claim great so there will be two independent claims and the remaining three claims can be dependent claims uh, invention as claimed in claim one wherein okay, it can be a narrow a narrowing down claim or a qualifying claim uh, or a characterizing claim Indep dependent claims can be something that is based on the uh, main claim so ideally you will have at least five claims if you want you can do more but five claims should be a minimum and you should also ensure that the other parts of the specification is there there is a background of the invention there is a description in the description you will have the objects in the background you will identify a problem that is in the prior art that is solved by the invention and bring out the details so this is something which you will do and and you should know by now that a claim has certain parts a claim has a preamble it has a transition and it has the body so know that and you have to bring that out in your drafting these are the things that you will concentrate on while answering a question in part c which is a drafting question apart from this if there is a specific i have somebody asked me how do we understand uh, the word limit for an abstract should we count 150 words no it's an estimate i am sure nobody is going to count it but you know that how many lines will constitute 150 words that's you have a rough estimate so it's that again the the title cannot be more than two lines because then you exhaust your 15 words uh, know that these are the things that you will concentrate on because procedurally you are required to comply with these provisions